Powered by nuclear energy. Hello, this is DJ Mondo. Welcome to the Atomic Luau. Um, I am going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to do an unboxing here real quick. Uh, I got a new piece of gear that represents uh, a different direction that uh, that's going to help me do some different experiments in, uh, in my studio lab. And hopefully it's going to help me combine hardware and software and music apps in different ways and give me, you know, different ways to combine them and add uh, more effects and things like that. So um, I've never owned a four channel mixer before and um, I thought I needed something with more inputs, you know, so I can do more experiments like um, combine the iPad with um, the Novation circuit and uh, and some other pieces of synth hardware that I have, but I never had anything, uh, any gear before to do uh, that had enough inputs, you know, to do that kind of thing. And uh, and I thought maybe you know I would finally get a mixer. And also I'm thinking about learning to to scratch as well. And this would be a good piece of gear to have. Now um, what I got here is uh, you can see it here is the the Gemini PMX20 Digital Performance Mixer. Uh, this is a an interesting mixer, uh, an interesting first time four channel mixer for me. Um, I looked it up and it was kind of well reviewed is one of the reasons I picked it up. Uh, has a lot of features that a lot of top of the line mixers have. Um, that, uh, you know, I found to be kind of interesting. You know, it's MIDI control, cue points. It's got uh, USB inputs for your, um, you know, for, for my Mac. And uh, so it can interface with other software. It's got a built-in audio interface. I want to see how well that performs with some of the applications that I have. Um, but I was kind of surprised. But most importantly, it's cheap, at least for me. That's a, that was a selling point. It's also got a uh, an 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 effects um, pass through, an effects output and uh, an input, so that you can add an effects module and things like that. But it's got a lot of features that a lot of pro uh, mixers have. But it's a uh, but on the cheap, and I figure since this is going to be my first four channel mixer, that I could cheap out a little bit, do a couple of experiments, since I'm not really, you know. Uh, a world traveling pro, but uh, but I can do a whole lot of really good experiments on this one. So so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and see what's in it. And like I said, I don't normally do unboxing, but I think this kind of represents a a new direction for some of my experiments to go in. And uh, let's see what it looks like. And uh, hopefully, if it's uh, if it's as fun as it looks, uh, my neighbors may never sleep again. So. Let's take a look. And right out of the way there. We got there. Um, leave a review. Uh, I'll leave a review once I've actually had a chance to use the product. So. Um, what we got here? It looks like they include uh, um, RCA connectors and the USB and the USB A to USB B connector, and the instruction manual is in here. Probably a couple of stickers as well. Uh, this is our power cable and the mixer itself. Let's get it out of the box and take a look at what's on it. So far it seems well constructed here. And 
there it is. Okay. Pretty solid construction, nice metal body. And um, faders. Faders are pretty good. They slide really well, uh, almost very minimal resistance here. And I hear you can replace the cross fader on this, which will be important uh, for people who might be learning to scratch, like myself. Nice solid buttons on here, good good bounce on those buttons. And uh, oh, and these uh, these knobs are really firm here. Definitely like that. Let's see how many. Um, let's see what else. What other features that we have here? We've got the. Uh, Looks like we've got a looper here. We've got our effects controls. And um, there is a microphone input, I think, on the other control. There's a, a, an item down here where you can affect the curve on the crossfader. That'll come in handy, again, for scratching. And um, um, eighth uh, quarter-inch headphone jack down here, which that's interesting because uh, I've got eighth-inch headphones. I'm going to have to use an adapter for that. but. No biggie, I got a couple of adapters. Let's take a look at the inputs on this side. And those are our Balance Master outputs right there. Power with uh, Power Switch Balance Master outputs. And uh, it's got booth output and a record output. So there's plenty of, plenty of places where you can send the, the signal out. Um, which that comes in handy if you want to like add a hardware recorder or something like that. Um, all of your inputs here on your all your four channels, and you got a choice between switching from uh, from phono or line, and a mic input, and you've got the effects send and return, which is if you want to use an external effects module of some kind, you can send the signal out to it. It comes back through that. And of course, your uh, your key lock so it don't get stolen out of the club. I think this is going to be a really really fun experiment. My primary concern here is I want it to to have four tracks so that I can input different uh, I can input signals from different hardware and attached hardware as well as um, from my internal software packages like I use Machina a lot, Native Instruments Machina and um, a lot of iPad apps as well. So, but I would like to, I, I'm hoping that I can get all of those signals from those four, um, from those four inputs into Ableton so I can record my mixes in Ableton. And, um, you know, that'll make it a little bit easier to just hook everything up to, uh, to pass through this and record my mixes uh, through this. So, um, but even if it doesn't hit the experiment, I think this is a this is a good buy because the construction is really solid on this. But I'm dying to use this. But there is there it is another piece of gear uh, for the laboratory. So hopefully um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, and the neighbors may never sleep again. So that's it. The uh, Gemini PMX 20 performance mixer. Uh, pretty decent reviews. There's a couple of downsides to it um, and one review that I heard, but uh, I won't mention them here. I'm going to test those for myself and, uh, and see if that actually comes out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This has been DJ Mondo. Always welcome to the Atomic Luau. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.